In the Central Valley, there is an abundance of farming, which is fantastic because we have such a unique climate where we can grow almonds all the way to lettuce, and we're feeding a lot of the world. But it's coming at a cost of depleting our aquifers because we've broken the water cycle. After research came out from the Ecdiasis Foundation and Dr. Jonathan Lundgren showing the benefits of regenerative versus conventional, how much more water holding capacity there was, how much better water infiltration, how much more life was there with invertebrates, birds, insects, all of that, I thought this is the solution for the Central Valley of California and the world. How can we convert as quickly as possible to regenerative farming? Part of the reason that I was so attracted to farming this way is to figure out how can we still grow a nutrient-dense organic crop with less water. And so as we are putting these practices into place, we are noticing increased levels of soil organic matter. What does that mean? Well, the soil is turning more into a sponge and also the plants are becoming more resilient. So over the course of probably the last five years, our soil organic matter has doubled. Now we're using 15% less water, specifically on one orchard, to see how the, it reacts. And the reaction we've seen is actually an increase in production. So the principles of regenerative are very simple. For us, what we're trying to follow is keeping the soil covered. That is the most important for us. It's like a jacket in the winter and it's shade in the summer. That also follows into having roots in the ground because when it rains or when water is applied, that helps the water infiltrate into the soil. It gives them a pathway of where to go. Also having diversity. So we have cover crop mixes, we have the almonds, we have plants for beneficial insects and birds, more habitat. Then we are also introducing livestock. So we have sheep that graze in our orchards one to two times a year, which are adding more diversity because they're peeing and pooping and their saliva and their biting of the plant. All of that helps bring back those cycles. The other goal is to reduce our inputs. And so for us, we're not using any of the sides, pesticides, um, herbicides, or fungicides. Not only is that better for our pocketbook, but it's also putting less synthetics into the world. Another part for us is not tilling up the land. So anytime that you're disrupting the soil, you are basically taking a huge bulldozer and demolishing all of life that's under soil. And so think of all the time and energy that needs to be spent to bring that back together. Why would we wanna do that? We're really proud to be one of the first farms to be certified both by the Regenerative Organic Alliance and Regenified. Our products are nutrient dense and they're made with ingredients that you can pronounce if they even have an ingredient added. Our olive oil is that, just regenerative olive oil. Our almond butters, the creamy and crunchy, have one ingredient, regenerative organic almonds. Regenerative farming is incredible. And the more and more that we do it, the less resources that we're going to be spending on food production. We're going to have ecosystems at work. We're going to have the water cycle, the nutrient cycle. We're going to rely on less inputs having to come in from foreign countries or burning fossil fuels. And at the same time, we're able to sequester carbon. It's just really a better cycle for the whole world.